It is National Library Week. They do it every year to highlight the critical role that libraries play in our community. And I'm so happy to have with me now Marie Jerry from Hartford Public Library to tell us more about how they are celebrating. Marie, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. A pleasure to have you here. And I love the theme this year that there's more to the story. How is there more? Absolutely. So, um, as you know, we're renovating our downtown library after some water damage, and the design firm that we're working with has this saying that I love: "We don't library like we used to." <laughs> and if I you like haven't, that. if you haven't been in the library in the past five to ten years, you're really missing out. And just in Hartford this summer, if you come to one of our branches, you could fly a drone. Yeah. Kids can get free lunch. Okay. You could take a pottery class. Wow. Learn English. Get help with the citizenship process. Process. Check out a sewing machine to do anything you want with it at home. I was going to say a lot more than books, too. Tell me, there's jazz. You can go there, too. Yes. So our very popular, 20. this is the 25th season of our Baby Grand Jazz series. Mm -hmm. And it wraps up this Sunday um, at the Artist Collective with a double header, the AA team at 1 p.m. and the Matt Dwanzik and the Dwanzet Trio at 3 p.m. And then that leads into our um, Jazz 101 series in May again at the Artist Collective, six to eight on Mondays, where you can come and listen to jazz aficionados and they'll talk about their craft. It's an interactive session to get us all ready for that very popular jazz series in Bushnell this summer. Oh yeah, oh, so many people come out for that. Uh, what about summer programs? Well, as you know, the library is the destination for everything summer learning, and yep. we're very excited to partner again with Hartford Public Schools this year and other community partners in the city to offer a wonderful summer learning program, kicking off June 10th at Sand School at our Rockins branch with an unveiling of a mural by the Sand Kids of uh, former Mayor Carrie Saxon Perry. Mm -hmm. And we are also one of only eight libraries in the entire country to get a NASA exhibit to display this summer. The moon Mars and beyond. You can do an astronaut obstacle course, touch panels from the International Space Station, try out some science Whoa. experiments. So we invite everybody to visit our branches this summer for learning, fun, and free lunch for the kids. How did you manage to land that? One of only eight in the country. Um, I guess we had a very compelling proposal. Okay. And Hartford Public Library knows how to get it done, and NASA <laughs> saw that. So. <laughs> well, that's good. I, I love that, you know, being forward with trying to get more things in. It's just something that you know, unfortunately, it shouldn't be kind of like an existential problem for libraries and for TV news that uh, how people are getting their information changes with things being digital. So it's great to see you being so forward with a lot of other ways to get people in there. Are there any other resources that you guys offer that you think that maybe people can't get at home, that they've got to go outside of all of the things, the voluminous <laughs> ones you've already told me about? Well, obviously, there's the free computer access. You yeah. know, all of our branches offer computers and, and Wi-Fi, printing, copying, faxing, you know, just just getting connected to community resources. Our librarians and our library staff are experts in getting you where you need to go. If yeah. we don't have the answer, we'll find somebody who does. Yeah, always so helpful, the library staff. And I mean, every I've never been to a library where the staff wasn't so welcoming and so helpful. And it had been a while until I had to go bring, bring you know, to my local library to get my kids there for books. And I just came away feeling so refreshed. Like, oh, they really helped me. Not just find a book that I was looking for, but just suggestions. Tell me what you think a five-year-old should read as a boy who's all over the place. They're on it. They're on it like that. And that's why I love libraries. One of the great, great services for you. Marie, thank you so much for taking the time to shout the praises of the Hartford Public Library thank System. Thank you for having me. I was glad to do it. Yeah, glad to have you here. Good to see you. You too. And we can follow up over the uh, summer when all those great things are happening.